Hello, this is Torquil. Today we're going to look at installing Embarcadero's team server. I've installed SQL on my server and I'm now going to create a blank database for use with team server. I open SQL Server Management Studio which is installed as part of SQL Server install. Right click databases and choose new. It's important to ensure that the database is set to case insensitive. With SQL, insensitive is the default so we can leave it at that. Right, let's start the team server installation. I have the program downloaded to my desktop here and when I double click the file the installation starts. There are some additional options here for choosing the installation folder and the port number that you would like to serve the web interface to your users on and you do need to have admin privileges to perform the installation. The server that you are installing on also cannot have any other Embarcadero products installed. If it does, you will get a message asking you to uninstall those first. If you are upgrading an older version of Team Server or repository, you will need to uninstall those too. We do have great documentation on installing or upgrading, so please see the links at the end of the video for more information. Ok, so setup is done, let's click launch to run the configurator. To begin with, the configurator opens up the first in a set of pages to allow you to configure the product. The first tab we get to is the repository setup. This allows us to select and configure the DBMS settings. As you saw at the beginning, we are running Microsoft SQL Server, so let's choose those settings. Mine is local, so I shall leave the local host and the default port number is already added. My SA account and password and the name of the blank database which I created earlier. Click next and it will ensure the connection is working ok and will set up the empty database. The next tab is the setup for the accounts that Team Server will use to interact with Windows and the inbuilt repository system. I have an account set up on this computer called Team Server and I'm using the standard admin admin for the repository. The next tab is to add your Team Server license to the installation. I have pasted mine here and click next. This tab allows you to configure secure communication between your users and the server via HTTPS. If you do not have a certificate, the configurator allows you to configure a self-signed certificate by using a key store file. Let me enable it here so you can see the options. You add various details to the key store, then set a password to the file. It's a very simple and easy method to set up self-signed HTTPS. The next tab for single sign-on configuration, this allows you to use your LDAP users in Team Server, authenticating those users via your LDAP server when they log into Team Server. Another optional configuration tab is notifications. This is where you can enable and configure the email server address for Team Server to send out those useful notifications to the users. The migration tab is used for upgrading and we're installing a fresh version so we can end the configuration by clicking straight on the home button. Here you can log in with admin admin, it is case sensitive so don't forget the capital A. From here you are taken straight to the welcome page where you can explore the product, watch tutorials or read our documentation. The tabs along the top of the window take you straight to different areas of the product. If you would like to import our example terms and glossaries we have a CSV file that you can import into your installation which is available for download. Please see the links at the end of this video. To add a diagram with ER objects you can watch the video on adding a diagram from ER Studio Data Architect. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoy your team server installation. Thank you.